This is Angela from North Carolina. And you are looking at old Jim and Fanny's behind him. The last time you saw Jim, he was fixing to go in for his surgery to have that big tennis ball sized tumor removed from his right rear leg. They also plan to take off 14 other growths. There's a small one right there that was removed. Um, he ended up having much longer surgery than they had intended when they got into his leg. The tumor had roots like a potato that had gone crazy and she, he ended up, you can't tell because of the position, but he actually has an 8 inch zigzag scar. He has torn out multiple stitches. That is skin hanging right there. The doctor is just at a wit's end. He, on the inside of this leg is a horrible wound that had been stitched together that he tore completely apart. Um, they gave him a cone that would have fit a pony, a horse, and it was so big he couldn't walk in it. He couldn't, he would hit the hallway, he'd run into the furniture. But um, he, the good news is the reason it looks this bad is almost from the minute he came out of the surgery, he leapt, he jumped, he flew. I was having to keep him on the leash, trying to practically sit on him. And we realized how uncomfortable this poor dog must have been that he had all of that root system growing in that right leg. He probably went in one position to run and the roots tugged and went in the other. He's just been a different dog. He's still on antibiotics, but I'm kind of worried about the one on the inside of this thigh. Let me see if I can lay down and get it. So we're going back on Tuesday. Oh God, it looks horrible. Look at that. This poor dog. I've tried so hard to keep him um, quiet and clean, of course. I'm keeping his antibiotic lotion. He's taking his antibiotics, but he is just such a big, strong dog. I think when he walks, he stretches out his stitches. Oh gosh, you can really see it good now. I had peroxide soaking on it for the longest time this morning, and it didn't do anything. So the vet is probably going to end up cutting that off, as well as that little piece, piece of skin right there that you see right there. He's been the best patient, and uh, we sent off his tumor to have it tested, and then I changed my mind and called them later, and I told them not to test it. I don't want to know. We've had a lot of sadness with our animals lately, and if it is cancer, there's nothing they can do about it. They've already removed the tumor. They didn't get to remove all of the masses that they wanted because he was under for almost two hours, which is a long time for a dog. But um, we're just hoping and praying that, you know, everything's going to come back okay and uh, not come back okay, but turn out okay. And I do believe big in CBD oil, and we use the number one CBD oil for cancer in dogs. So if it is indeed cancerous, hopefully the CBD oil will help him not to have it spread or keep it contained. It's kept our little dachshund alive for over a year and a half that had a huge mass in her spleen that was removed and we opted against chemo and went with CBD with her. Thank you everybody for asking about him all the time and caring. I wonder if I should put a warning sign that um, 
you're so gross sore to look at. But see, this isn't like him. Normally, if I get down this close to him, he has to jump up and start licking me and playing with me. So I'm a little worried that he's developed a bit of an infection. Everybody have a... Oh, look, there, he's got blankets so thick. There's his little skull blankets. Y'all have a great Sunday, and it really, it means a lot that so many people have asked about this old rescue boy. He has captured our hearts. Bye.